Good. I, I just want to pick up on the two things, the, t the last two speakers very quickly, um, because Women's Place uh, said what they said about me back in 2018, and it really did. I think it's the most hurtful thing when they did that. That had ever happened till that point, and then Jean Hatchett just said, "Hold my beer," <laughs> um, and then she did something quite terrible. Um, and I actually think Women's Place did it strategically. I think Jean Hatchett was just very hurt about something else, and I think it was quite personal for her. Um, and so I, d I don't normally name these people, but I think it's quite a good time to. Um, but what happened is all the women, and Kathleen Stock has been so gracious in changing her mind. Um, but when we spoke to, when Julia and I, in a corridor, see this shiny man with very good hair on camera, and I'm like, that's Sarah McBride. He's part of the HRC. One of their first campaigns was to get a man who'd beaten his wife so badly she nearly was decapitated when he killed her. And then he went home and he sat down at the table and he ate with his son as if nothing had happened. And Sarah McBride's first HRC campaign was to get that man into a woman's prison. And yet, we were criticised for asking him, why do you hate lesbians, is basically what we said. And Women's Place and all of those women, which it just doesn't make any sense, basically said we were wrong for doing it. Which means that they genuinely see that nasty, pernicious, very powerful man as a vulnerable woman. That's the only thing that makes any sense. It's the same reason why they shared the crowdfunder for one man to have his penis inverted for so-called sex reassignment surgery. It's why they call Christina Harrison's sister or Miranda or whatever other blokes who know some of them that are very, very celebrated have gaslit their wife and kids. Yeah. How on earth? How on earth? Can I be so... Oh, I've just got to say this as well. I am, I am basically just a magic human because I am both totally irrelevant and the most insignificant thing that came to getting Trump elected. <laughs> I am both things at the same time. I am nothing and I am something. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> so I just, I just think... How can I be the person that is supposed to shoulder the shame that these women and the scorn that these women pour? When actually they are celebrating so many men who are absolutely instrumental. I think, right, somebody like some of the uh, TRAs on Twitter, right, we can all name them. I don't want to. You know who they are. They are not as effective at all in persuading any one of you than these other women who are gaslighting you. These men, we can see that they're monsters. These women come as apparently your allies and your saviors and at the same time they will take you and they will shift your position and they will make every woman in those meetings give a round of applause to Debbie Hayton, give a round of applause to absolute nonsense because actually you know that them more than anyone will shame you if you don't 100% agree with a true trans be kind to men's narrative that they are pushing. And I I think they're actually more dangerous than any TRA because they come as your friends.